Hi, this is Jeff with Wells Fargo. Hi, Jeff. This is Tiffany Ma. Guys, I am driving today. Hey, guys. Ah! I forget this car is different than mine. So what is freaking up today? It's another day, another vlog. We are so excited because today we have house tours we have apartments or we have appointments so we actually have an appointment with a real estate agent we finally got one i feel like i haven't done my daily affirmations in a while and i feel like i just need the good juju in my life so we're gonna do it together i'm healthy i'm wealthy i'm rich i am that bitch i'm gonna go get that bag and i'm not gonna take your shit i am protected well respected i'm a queen i'm a dream i do what i want to do and i'm who i want to be because i am me all right, we're getting the good juices flowing today. We're gonna tour a couple houses today. We're touring three houses that we have appointments for. So they're all different price ranges. Like, I don't even know why we did this, but one is super high. One is like between one and two million. One's exactly at one, and another one is literally like half a million. We're doing it all over the place today, but I think that's okay. Matt wants me to explore the neighborhood better, so I'm driving today because that way I can get a feel for uh, the neighborhoods that we're driving around. Alright guys, we're at the house. We're back at the house that we really liked and then we couldn't get inside. So we have an appointment now and I'm so excited to see it. I'm so excited. Hold on, let's put on our masks. All right, meet our real estate agents. This is Bo and this is Kyle. If you guys need anyone in Denver, Colorado, hit them up. I'll have their information down below. Oh my God, this is incredible. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Wow. Wow. Oh my God, wait, this looks way better in real life. Oh my this God. So sexy. Oh wait, we found the built-in fridges. That's amazing. Babe, they have a pantry! Oh my god, they have a pantry. I've always wanted a walk-in pantry. This is like an office, sort of? Yeah. You cut through to the open kitchen? Yeah, it's like a little like den or kitchen or more like pantry space. This is so interesting. Oh, that's pretty. Look how pretty that is. What's this? You're behind me. Oh my god, so they have a three-car garage. They're definitely building some stuff in here. Matt's telling me I need to run upstairs, so I'm doing it. <laughs> Guys, I'm obsessed with this house. This is amazing. Oh no. my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <gasps> this is crazy. Look, wait. Oh my god. Two things. This house is beautiful. I will say I don't love when they have this where it's like completely open to the bathroom. Like Yeah, we can put a curtain. <laughs> Something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad, but whoa, they have a freaking your closet. Bar. It's not even that. There's a freaking laundry room inside the closet. This is the closet. This is the laundry room. This is insane. What's over here? This is the definition of a master suite. It's a little office. Oh. That's cool. Are you kidding me? This is crazy, guys. This house has heated floors. Downstairs always feels weird because there's like no lighting downstairs ever. What's this? Oh, what the hell? That's kind of scary. What's- Oh my god, babe, it's a safe. Literally, we can put guns, not that we have any, is in they here. Had some for sure. Yeah, it looks like they had wow. guns in here. Yeah, the downstairs is definitely not finished. I didn't even see, is there even like a bathroom? There's, there's, there's a bathroom down here. No, I mean upstairs where the living room is. I didn't even see a bathroom up there. Oh, I think there is one, yeah. So we're looking at our second house and I'm so in love with that first house that I'm getting so nervous. I'm drinking coffee for the first time today in like months and I'm like jittery and nervous and excited and I want to fucking get that first house. But they're taking in offers literally tonight. So we'd have to call up our mortgage lender, figure that shit out. We're discussing it in the car. Ugh. But I wish we had like another 24 hours before we had to put in an offer. We're at the second house. This is more of the pricier one. That's definitely at the very, very top of our budget. But we're not really loving the neighborhood that it's in right now. So we don't totally know about this house yet. But we want to just check it out. I love how they redecorated this house. Okay, so we're in our second house now. This is nice. Little, like, door here. This is so cute. This one's going for? 1.29 So it's the top of our budget. Oh, it's a little Harry Potter closet. This reminds me of Remy's house so much. This it's, is so much character. It reminds me of our house, but a little bit different. It looks like they put an effort in this house. I honestly didn't think I was going to like a house as much as we liked the first one, but it's like, this is totally different, but it's still really nice. What's down here? 
what is this is this the garage please tell me it's the garage oh there's a garage oh that's so nice okay there's a little mud room area look at these hardwares oh a built-in pantry yes that's so nice there's an outdoor fireplace that's so cool yeah that's the garage the garage is pretty cool we your workout little area so they actually have a backyard here which is so nice for zoe okay guys so we found the coolest fucking bathroom whoa this is so nice is there a walk-in closet oh yeah it's right here oh sweet you can just build it out i love that every bedroom has its own bathroom that's so nice oh this one has another walk-in closet as well guys these windows i love these windows we just got home we're so excited i love both of the houses so freaking much we're putting in an offer in a house i'm not gonna tell you which one guys but we love both those houses that last house was beautiful and they really really put their thought and time into decorating it and making it super aesthetic it's definitely in an up and coming neighborhood and we definitely think we can get it a little bit lower than the asking price again try to guess which house we're putting an offer on i really like that they had a backyard and everything but matt and i also both really love that first house because it just had like that beautiful wow factor i'm a little nervous one because i've been drinking coffee all day which never happens i never drink coffee and two i'm just like so excited i'm about to call my mortgage lender right now i don't know if he's busy i'm really hoping he's not hi it's jeff with wells fargo Hi, Jeff. This is Tiffany Ma. Hey, Tiffany. Hey. I know it's a Saturday. I'm sure you're busy. This hey, is... if I'm picking up the phone, you don't even have to... I always call me well uh just a little backstory i'm in denver colorado my boyfriend and i have been wanting to buy a house here we weren't expecting to find a house so quickly uh we found a house that we love only issue is that they're accepting offer today's the last day that they're accepting offers get your shit together we gotta get our shit together i can send you a link to fill out the application because obviously if you're gonna submit an offer you have to have a pre-approval i'll send you the link it'll take you probably 20 like last time 20 30 minutes bam kind of go from there so uh cool let's let's make it happen <laughs> okay now time to call back Bo and say it's happening babe are we doing this yeah we're doing this we're buying a house together <laughs> hello we're gonna go ahead and put in an offer <laughs> All right, awesome. And then so both of you will be on title as well. Cool. Um, so when you text me, basically just both your first and last names as they appear on your driver's license. I would say in terms of what, what you're thinking about right now is like, what are you comfortable having to bring on top of the appraised value? I'll get everything typed up. Um, you know, I'll give you a call back as soon as I'm done with everything and uh, we'll go through it real quick and then we'll just be waiting on the letter. Alrighty, thank you so much. Awesome, you're welcome. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Wow. How are you feeling about <clears throat> the situation? Let me pull this up. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling very nervous and excited. I think we're both nervous about it, but I think when we're talking it all out and breaking down all the finances, it feels pretty good. Yeah. And maybe it's a little bit like stretching ourselves, but it's for a good reason because it is for a really good investment that in three to five years, we'll already see a return on that investment and can supplement that immediate income with Airbnb. At first I was like, I don't know, should we? But then since we started the process, I'm like, I can't imagine not getting it now. When I walked into that house, I was like, this is literally my dream home. It's actually obtainable, which is a really weird feeling. <sighs> we just did that at the same time. <laughs> Babe, we're buying a house together. Right? Well, we'll see. But yeah, I feel like surprising. What do you mean? I feel surprisingly like Okay home. with it? I feel it's all that like coffee I had. Yeah, I'm just trying to manifest it with strong energy to be like, okay, we can do this, we, we can get it. it. I'll just be really upset if we don't get it, but I'm not even gonna think about that. Mm -hmm. But I feel really good about it. I feel like there are so many reasons why yeah. it makes a lot of sense. And because we're already like finding, I mean, I already have a lot of friends out here. We've already met so many people in like a matter of like two weeks. I was telling Tiffany, it's so like much easier. Are so friendly and so, so much nice. easier to make like real friends here than in Los Angeles. Because everyone in Los Angeles just wants to know what you do. I can't wrap my head around the fact that we have a vacation home and that just sounds like such a rich person thing to have. Is like, I have a vacation home in like the mountains and like I would have never thought in a million years I could get to this point and it's all fucking because of you guys so
thank you guys i hope you realize that like la is still gonna be our home home and like this will be our like second home we'll probably spend a lot more time here because we're so excited <laughs> about our new house yeah yeah but like of course la is still of course like your brother and sister live there yeah. all of our like all of my best friends live in la i mean especially during covid and everything yeah like, who knows when this will end it's the perfect time to be like yo let's just go for the month and True. then come back we can and we can Zoe. take Zoe. We don't have to worry and about shark. the Airbnb. Yes. Shark will hate us for doing that. Okay, well, I feel like this little bit's long. We'll update you guys if we have other news. Or maybe I'll, I'll save it for the next video. But I'm excited. We're both very excited. I'm going to look up some Airbnbs around the neighborhood and see what they're going for. Just to see. You know, I, I want to crunch some numbers because I'm a numbers crunch. girl. So I love you guys. We'll talk soon. <laughs> Sorry. Hi guys, update here. It is currently 8 p.m. I haven't vlogged the last three hours of our lives, but the last three hours has been the most stressful thing ever. No one sees the behind the scenes part of purchasing a home and making an offer, but it is so stressful. Matt and I are both pooped. I'm really fucking thankful that Matt made us some food. I would have no energy to be making us food right now, but he made us food and we just have some beef ragu with um, gnocchi and some marinara sauce it looks really good i'm gonna eat i don't know if i'm gonna vlog much after this but we're really excited about this process but as of right now i think we're coming ter to terms with the fact that like this house a lot of people loved and it's really beautiful hopefully we get the house but we're not 100 percent positive but we're gonna put good vibes out in the world it is so stressful i'm ready to eat all right i'll talk to you guys soon hey guys so i have been spending the last hour trying to get ahead on work so i edited an entire vlog at 10 p.m which is so good for me because normally I'm like editing the vlog like literally at like 2 a.m. So I'm pretty proud of myself and I wanted to end today's video here. Literally this entire day has been a roller fucking coaster. Like so many highs, so many lows, but um, yeah, that is the fucking house buying process for you guys. But today's question of the day comes from Olivia Ayestas. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your last name, not entirely sure how to say it, but her question of the day was how many kids do you want? I want two kids. I'm not totally sure how many kids Matthew wants. Baby, how many kids do you want? Two to four children. There is no way I'm shoving four kids out of this little body. Yeah, we had a whole, like, <laughs> what, a fucking basketball team? Power numbers. I, I don't know about that. I want two. <laughs> Matt, want, we'll talk about it with Matt later. But let me know how many kids you guys want. I'm super curious. Um, and yeah, if you guys want to be a part of the next question of the day and want to be featured, Make sure to leave me some questions down below. I love you guys so much. Wish us luck, pray for us, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video for another daily vlog. I love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.